Hey, good afternoon and welcome back. Uh, this video is going to be about the electrical system on my 6x12 cargo trailer conversion. I've had a few people ask me how I connected things up and stuff. So it won't be a detailed schematic, but it will be a high level block diagram. And uh, so I'm going to pan over to the computer here and I'm going to walk you through the block diagram, uh, which is kind of a PowerPoint presentation. So bear with me. This will only take a few minutes if you're interested. So you'll need to see it all the way through. Thank you for watching. Okay, so this is a uh, block diagram of the electrical system in my Anvil 6x12 car cargo trailer. It's got a 110 volt uh, 20 amp service. It's got uh, 510 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries, 420 amps, or uh, 420 watts rather, of uh, solar panels on the roof, and a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, from left to right here on the solar first and then show you the uh, multiple ways the batteries are charged. Uh, and then give you a rundown of the uh, AC section as well. Uh, one thing to note though here, uh, everything that uh, goes through ground goes through this, uh, this shunt, which shows me my total amps being used in, in, in DC. So this is how it keeps uh, the state of charge on the battery. So this is just in here. So everything that's coming from this battery uh, goes through here. So in any case, I got the uh, 420 watts of solar panels on the roof. That comes through a 40 amp VC breaker into a 40 amp uh, MPPT solar controller, and then another 40 amp VC breaker onto the positive bus bar. Uh, you'll see here on this, uh, 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 going to the batteries here, I've got a 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate and a 230 amp uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries that I built from 3.2 volt cells. Uh, I built them together, uh, put them in parallel, as you can see, they give me the 510 amp hours of usable. They have a 300 amp BMS in them. The, each of those uh, are capable of 150 amp out, so I got 300 amps. The BMS will limit to that, but to protect the uh, wiring and stuff, I put a 200 amp DC breaker. I should never be drawing more than that. And I have a battery cutoff. This will cut off all DC power from the, uh, from the trailer. So, uh, so that's the solar path. Um, and then I've got a, uh, a 45 amp uh, lithium iron phosphate charger converter. It will, it will provide 45 amps either to charge or to run DC circuitry. Uh, it, uh, it's got a manual on and off switch. And uh, normally it's going to get its power right from the generator or from the 110 volts AC in. The, uh, the switch would be in this position, come through, go through the breaker here. I have a manual on and off. The caveat with this is, is uh, you do not want to have this thing running from the inverter and just be a big loop. And uh, that's not good. Uh, you know, it's, it's not going to really ruin anything to run a battery down. Um, but I would not do that. Um, uh, there's another way to do this. You could put a relay in so it can't run uh, with the inverters on, those kind of things. But uh, just a lot of complexity. I just got to make sure. Matter of fact, I very rarely use this, uh, honestly. Uh, the solar does its job, and when I'm towing, it charges it up. Uh, every once in a while, I find myself turning that on. I just got to, uh, you know, deliberately. Uh, Make sure I don't have the inverter on. In any case, uh, so it charges, uh, and um, I don't have a fuse in here. It's got some output fuses on it. Uh, then I've got the 1500 amp uh, pure sine wave inverter here. I'll come back to that. I have a 20 amp energy DC to DC uh, charger here. This gets 12, well, actually, it's about 13 something volts from the uh, tow vehicle, uh, my F 250. Uh, the alternator uh, is a pretty big alternator, and it's got a 30 amp circuit to provide uh, to that pin. Uh, there's line loss through all that, but basically this Renogy 20 amp DC DC converter takes whatever voltage it finds there uh, and will convert it to 14.6 volts DC uh, and put it on the bus bar to charge the batteries. So I've got a charger here, a charger there, and a charger. I've got multiple ways to charge this uh, uh, and two sources to charge from here, possibly. So uh, that will keep the batteries charged. The batteries stay charged uh, to run all the circuits, obviously, and then to the DC, uh, the, the 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter here. I've got a manual on and off for that. Uh, it goes to a 150 amp DC breaker off the DC bus bar. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it can run all the others, the fridge, the air conditioner, all that stuff. Uh, the way these batteries are set up into the charge, if I have a good sun, I can run for about 10 to 11 hours uh, from these batteries through the inverter. Uh, back down through here to run the uh, air conditioner, so it works pretty well. 
Um, as far as all the DC circuitry on board, you know, all the LED lighting, the uh, fans, uh, you know, I've got quite a bit of DC circuitry. That's all represented right here. This is a uh, fuse panel. Uh, so I got an 80 amps uh, going to that uh, through a breaker um, and uh, multiple circuits in here that branch out all over the place. Um, and so they're just kind of represented with this. Now, the thing to note here is they're all DC uh, returned through chassis ground, uh, and that's uh, represented here. So everything that's from a DC perspective is monitored here, all the ins and all the outs, uh, you know, uh, when it's charging or when it's discharging, it monitors so I know my state of charge. Um, so I think I've pretty much covered everything on here. It's, it's uh, one of the things to note, though, this is a black diagram. These are individual components. Uh, I designed it this way, so if I have a failure with my controller first, you know, I can replace it. Or if I have an inverter failure, I can replace it. Sometimes you get these all in one thing, and one thing goes, and you got it thousands of dollars in it and uh, you can't fix it or, or whatever. In any case, I carry a spare uh, controller and a spare uh, 1500 watt inverter with me uh, in case I have to fix it on the road. Uh, the other thing not noted here is all the various uh, gauges of wire. For instance, this is a zero gauge wire going here, you know, and uh, so you want to be cognizant of uh, the circuits, what you're using. I'm using 12 gauge wires everywhere, uh, 14 gauge wires, uh, excuse me, on the AC side. Um, you know, I'm not pulling more than 15 amps for any part of it. So uh, with a uh, 12 amp service coming in, or excuse me, 12 gauge service coming in. So anyway, be, be cognizant of that, but uh, this is it. So this kind of represents what I've built into my Anvil 6x12 cargo trailer. Uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. It helps out. Thank you.